door opened in the ambulance bay. You see like the patient coming in on a trolley. You had a paramedic on top doing CPR, but the patient was dead when they came in the hospital. The patient was essentially dead. They were trying to bring the patient back to life. The patient was bouncing on the table, literally breaking ribs, doing chest compressions. You are, you know, when you wake up from the dead, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm always going to remember that. Remember that day. Like, honestly, it was, it was something. I don't know how to describe it. I'm still a bit like, not overwhelmed. Like, hi everyone. If you're new here to the channel, my name is Ovi. I'm a third year medical student and welcome to Ovi Med. Let me tell you about my experience that I had. So I was just like chilling in zone one while well, I wasn't chilling. I was like looking at patient cases, see if there's anything interesting, see if there's anything I can help with, but I wasn't really doing anything. Um, and then I heard over the intercom that cardiac arrest coming in, ETA five minutes, cardiac code team assembled to zone one. And then like I knew it was coming, but I wasn't sure if like, you know, what was gonna happen. Cause I've never seen it before in my life. And then I see like, like like people just like running like leaving what they're doing assembling there preparing like you know the airway doc was taking like intubation kit they didn't know if the patient needed to be intubated or not um so they're taking drugs so they're taking like you know spine brace so they're taking like c-spine brace um so they're taking drugs um nurses were preparing like everything for the ecgs like the procedures doc was like preparing the ultrasound machine we're bringing it like right next to the room yeah there's already a crash cart in the room so that didn't need to be like you know, assemble or anything. Um, there's like five resuscitation rooms in the hospital that I'm at. Um, yeah, so they were just like taking a bunch of things. Um, the team leader was assembling the team members and telling them exactly who had what role basically in the code. And yeah, basically the team leaders, like what they do is that they stand at the edge of the bed, like uh, at the end of the bed rather, at the patient's feet, and they just look over the whole team, their hands off. They're never gonna do like anything on the actual patient because they have so much to think about. So they're never actually gonna do something, but they keep a track of everything. So yeah, I saw the whole team assembling and I was kind of excited. I was like, okay, here we go. Like something's gonna happen, right? Like it must be interesting, you know? Cause at that point I was a bit bored, you know? There was not much going on. I was just like observing, looking around. And then it was like in the movies, honestly, like the door opened in the ambulance bay. You see like the patient coming in on a trolley. You had a paramedic on top doing CPR like doing chest compressions while they're like pushing the trolley around. You get like one of the paramedics giving a, like a history. And then like, yeah, the patient was brought into the room immediately, like IV accesses in both of the arms. One of the residents was doing chest compressions, took over from the paramedic. Um, airway doc was like preparing everything, the oxygen, everything, uh, turning on the oxygen, putting on the mask. Yeah, the stats were quite low. Like the patient had like 83% or something of like SpO2 saturation. So yeah, that was quite low. Um, yeah, and they were doing, actively doing CPR and I was there, I was standing back, right? So there was all the staff um, that they had like the check set ray waiting, like the big machine. The patient was bouncing on the table, literally breaking ribs, doing chest compressions but the patient was dead when they came in the hospital. The patient was essentially dead. They were trying to bring the patient back to life. There was just so many people, it was a bit overwhelming. Like I sort of like stood back, was watching it. They had like all nurses, like a bunch of nurses. Like in reality, what you get is like every single doctor has at least one or two residents. So then they all come to see the code and then where the residents come like one or two med students, right? And then we all look. I was the only med student there uh, for that specific code. Like there, there was at least like 15 or 20 people there. And then you had one or two extra doctors who were just walking by, who stopped to watch, like see if anyone needed anything, any help. Like that, that's when you really see like the, the team aspect of medicine, the interdisciplinary work, like the, it, it's really like a team sport, literally. And they were trying to bring this patient back to life. Like the patient was essentially dead. The patient was dead. It was sort of like an organized chaos and I'm sure that chaos is not the right word to describe it because it, it was very organized. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. Like the team leader was really like, you know, like giving orders, like you do this, you do that, you go bring me this, bring me that, like put this in, like give that. I, it was quite something, honestly. Like it, it was my first time ever seeing a cardiac arrest in real life and let me tell you, like that was something. 
I didn't expect it. I, I mm, no, that that's a lie. I did expect to see it in emergency. I wanted to see one. Um, not that I wish that to happen to anyone, but like it's part of the learning experience, right? You need to know how to deal with an arrest. You can do simulations and manicate all you want, but once you see it on a real patient in real life, in real time, with the whole team assembling and everything, it's it's really impressive. Honestly, it's really something. It was a bit emotional too. Like the the, the patient came back to life. Um, they had a pulse. It was one hell of a day. Like one hell of a first day. Honestly, I would I would lie if I told you that I didn't expect that. And I'm kind of glad it happened from for learning purposes. And I'm quite interested in emergency as well. So I sort of need to know how to deal with these types of situations. But the team leader was really inspiring. You know, really confident. Really like you know, directing people like. When someone's doing a procedure, you, you sort of like lose track of what's going on around, especially when you can't get the vein because the patient like has no pulse, right? No, no pressure, no blood pressure, no nothing. You're trying to find a vein, like good luck, right? Like it's not that easy. And then, yeah, they just relate back to the team leader, the team leader like signposts everything that's going on that everyone can like follow. I, it was something. It was one of a kind experience. I'm always gonna remember that remember that day I kind of see it was it was something I don't know how to describe it I'm still a bit like not overwhelmed like but I was just like wow and awe yeah I think that's a better word I wasn't awe of like what was going on honestly but it was nice it was nice to see and I'm really happy that a patient did make it um of course it can happen that a patient doesn't make it and that's just re the reality of the job and but I'm happy that the patient made like came back to life um the patient wake up they were really confused, um, as you are, you know, when you wake up from the dead, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> that first, you know, the adrenaline that I felt. I wasn't even in the team. I was just looking. I wasn't doing anything. And the adrenaline rush that I got from that was like, I've, like I've never had one like that before. It was really something. Like it made my, yeah, blood pressure go up and everything. Like it was. Yeah, it was kind of cool, honestly. <laughs> it was one hell of a first day. So I think I'm gonna, yeah, finish this here. I'm gonna reflect on what happened. I think it's been long enough, the video, but I really wanna like convey that, that experience. If you didn't see my previous videos, I'm gonna link them right here and I'll see you in my next video.